In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your goals in 2021. We're gonna keep this very simple and really easy if you're struggling to get started of setting up reasonable goals in 2021. You wanna pay attention to this message because I got something really cool to really go ahead and show you and present to you. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. And yes, we're gonna talk about 2021 set up goals for success for you right now. So like, comment, subscribe to this channel and let's go ahead and dive into the content. Now the first thing you want to go ahead and think about when you're setting up your goals, and I'm gonna have a little piece of paper here, is be specific, be specific. Being specific on your goals is very important because you just don't wanna say something like, I wanna make $10,000 in 2021. Well, you wanna break those down. You wanna be really specific. I wanna make $1,000 in February, then I wanna make $1,000 in March, and then $5,000 in June, and then July, I wanna make $3,000 and go on. So you wanna set up goals, but you wanna be very specific. And when you set up a specific goal, I'll hold it up again, is that you also wanna have something that you're gonna give up to be able to reach that goal. So having activities along the way. For an example, I wanna make $10,000 in 2021, let's say in my online business or, or let's say in a side hustle opportunity that I'm doing and I wanna make an extra $10,000. Well, you gotta think about this. What are you willing to give up? Well, I'm willing to give up you know, um, every other Saturday if I can work on my craft. Or I'm willing to give up the cable bill. I'm willing to cut the cable bill if I can use that money towards my business. So you gotta, something you gotta give up to be able to receive that gift. And more importantly, you gotta believe that it can happen as well. So being very specific on your goals is so, so important. Now, number two thing is, is make sure your goals is measurable. Make your goals very, very measurable. For an example, let's say $24,000 in debt. Let's say you have $24,000 in debt. Well, you wanna measure your goals, just like being specific 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 but you want to be measurable on your goals of how to go ahead and reach them for an example $24,000 in debt I want to be specific with that goal so I want to reach that goal by the end of July let's say that for an example then you can say something like you know I'm going to track my goal so I'm going to pay on my debt $2,000 each month by the end of the month then I'm going to say how I'm going to do that well, I'm gonna cut the cable. I'm gonna cut you know, the grocery bills a little bit higher. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna walk more to my. Um, you know, maybe say, well, I'm gonna walk more. I'm gonna exercise more, so I'm not gonna drive my car as much. So I'm not gonna save on gas. Just an example. Just an example. But then again, when you're measuring your results, I'm gonna cut these things out. Cut the cable. Cut other bills that I don't need. And then I'm going to use my side business that I have to put more money into that debt. And so now I'm able to pay $2,000 more a month to be able to get to my measurable goal. And that's cutting my goal, cutting my debt down from the end of July. So that's the goal. So basically I'm measuring my results, measuring my goals, measuring, measuring exactly what I want to accomplish this in the future. So you want to be specific, but you want to measure your results and keep track of them as well. Maybe have a, a notepad or an Excel spreadsheet that has the months and then the weeks, the days, that's outlined when you're going ahead and having that debt down. So you can have like a time clock or something, you know, 24,000, that's the day. You know, June, July 31st, 2021, I'm gonna pay $24,000 in debt or $10,000 in debt or $5,000 in debt. And then I'm gonna have it measurable every single month of how I'm gonna obtain that goal. So be very measurable. Also, the next one here, Make the goals time sensitive, time sensitive. Now we talked about a little bit about time sensitive of having like deadlines <clears throat> of when you want that goal to be achieved. So an example, another example, losing weight is always a good goal. It's always one of the most popular goals that a person have when they're starting out the year or throughout the year. So if I wanna lose 20 pounds in the whole year, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna lose 20, 21 pounds or 20 pounds in the year of 2021 or in, the, in any year. I'm gonna be very specific, remember we talked about that, of how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna 
I'm gonna work out, you know, an extra 30 minutes a day, and I'm gonna cut off sugar. I'm gonna cut basically 50% of the sugar that I, I obtain uh, each week. Let's say that. Then that's my specific, specific. My measurable is that I'm gonna track my weight loss on a weekly basis. So I'm gonna track my weight loss. So I'm gonna have a notepad and I'm gonna write down my, my weight and I'm gonna track and weigh my goal, weigh my weight each week. Then on the actually time sensitive, I'm also going to say, I wanna lose 20 pounds by May 31st or May 30th, 2021. So now I have a deadline, it's time sensitive, we got a rock and roll, it's really serious, and now it's up to me to make sure these goals are achieved because I'm putting it on me. I'm not blaming it on the gym, I'm not blaming it on the supermarket, I'm not blaming it on my spouse, I'm putting it on me. So I'm accountable for my time sensitive goal. Could I put a hard deadline that May 30th, 2020, 21, I mean, May 30th, May 30th, May 30th, 2021, I'm gonna lose 20 pounds or 21 pounds. And I got my measurable stats, I have my specific areas, and I also have you know that deadline that I'm gonna do it. So, so think about that as well. Uh, another one is, is remember, these are your goals. These are your goals. A lot of times, I've seen this before, and I did this before, I would write goals for somebody else because it sounds good. Or you know what, someone else, you know, put some goals down for themselves and it read very well or something that, you know what, I think I may want to do. And I didn't give it a lot of thought. I just basically said, you know what, these sounds good, but I was forgetting this part here. Remember, these are your goals. I didn't remember that, that these goals are mine. So there's no one else. So think about it. When you're writing down reasonable goals and a reasonable goal could be something like, you know what, I'm gonna use my side business to pay for my insurance. So instead of saying I wanna make $10,000 in a month, say something like, you know, I'm gonna use my side business to, to pay for my insurance and maybe pay for my cell phone bill. Something small, especially if you're just starting out in a side business, online business. And by the way, right below this video, I do have information on how you can go ahead and start your online business as well. So anyway, so have, those are your goals. So somebody else's goals could be losing 100 pounds, making $1,000 a month, you know, a traveling to, you know, Asia or something like that. And that could be a vacation, really lifestyle goal that person set up for him or herself. But your goal is gonna be something that comes from your heart, something that, you know, gets you motivated, gets you out of bed, you know, when you just don't wanna get out of it. And if that side business or online business, you know, use that to be able to, you know, position yourself for goals that can be achieved, you know, reasonable goals, stuff that you're like, hey, you know what? I'm bringing an extra couple of hundred dollars a month. I can use that to pay for a bill or take that fund and invest it back into my own side hustle, side business, or invest it back to myself. Because that could be my goal. I go and say, you know what? I want to pay for my cable insurance bill, or not cable bill, but my phone bill, insurance bill, and light bill with my online business on a monthly basis. So that could be my goal. That's what I want to do that. And I want to do that by May 1st. So I have my time sensitive goal right there. And then measurable, I'm just putting down how much money I'm bringing in on a weekly basis, monthly basis, before I can start paying those bills from my side business or side hustle or online business or whatever. And once again, right below this video, I do have information of how you can start your online business right now. So think about that. These are your goals. They can be small, mid, mid or really big goals as well. My next subject is gonna be put your goals everywhere. Put your goals everywhere. Now, when you're writing down your goals, you want to be very, very careful. You wanna get in a quiet spot, you don't wanna have any distractions, and you wanna be able to be in a position where you can let things go, you can let things go, let the fear go, let all the pain go, let all the doubt go, because you're writing these goals down to achieve them, not just to write them down. And once you, once you write them down, I will put them in places that you normally go. I have my, I actually have one of my goals, one of my main goals is actually in my bathroom mirror. 
I wrote it down on the bathroom mirror. I see that every single day. When I brush my teeth, when I wash my face, I put it right there so I can't miss it. So I'm sitting here looking at the mirror, I see the goals right there. That's something you can think about doing. I mean, if that's not your thing, then find something else where you can put the goals where you can see them. <laughs> that's important. You can put them on your cell phone. You can actually put them, you know, put them in your car. I got one of the goals in my car. It's actually right by my steering wheel. It's right by my steering wheel. So when I start the car up, I look over, I'm like, oh, okay, that's it. That's the goal right now. So put the goals somewhere that you can really see them. That's going to help you in terms of, you know, you know, mindset wise, but you can remember them and then take action, take an action on those goals, achievements, those incoming producing activity or just activities to reach towards those type of goals. So remember, put the goals everywhere. It could be on your computer screen. It could be on your bedroom wall, anywhere you feel like you're going to check them and you can go ahead and take action. And another one, another place I put one of my goals is actually in my wallet. So now open up the wallet, boom, it's right there. It's literally right there. So think about those things, how to set up goals in 2021, because 2021, it's your year. This is your year. You're going to crush your goals. You're going to have success in 2020 because you believe it in here and in here and your focus as well. Doesn't matter. It does not matter what you did not accomplish in the past. We're talking about 2021. We're talking about, you know, we're going to write them down. We're going to put our goals everywhere. We're going to be focused. We're going to have measurable. We're going to also be very specific, reasonable, and they're going to be your goals. Once again, right below this video, I do have an area where you can start your online business to reach a certain goal. If that's your goal is to make some money, make some money online or make some extra money online, we have a great program where you can start learning how to do that as well. My name is Adam Shelton. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. This is your year 2021. I can't wait for you to go ahead and reach to the top of the mountain. And if you're already at the top of the mountain, let's go even higher with that and help uplift other people for they can have success in 2021. Once again, my name is Adam Shelton and I'll see you on the next video.